Let me go to Mayor Bulwich. Uh, you mentioned your, uh, your town, Elizabeth, received a grant under the regional pilot program in the 1990s, correct? Yes. Um, we heard from Mr. Stanislaus earlier that EPA has started another pilot program, the multi-purpose grant program, to give communities more flexibility. Um, do you think that having that greater flexibility like that uh, afforded to communities with the multi-purpose grants would assist them uh, better in cleaning up the contaminated sites? Uh, yes, I do, Congressman. Also, uh, you know, the City of Elizabeth is currently using two 2011 EPA community-wide assessment grants for hazardous substances and petroleum in our Midtown redevelopment area. Uh, so in answer to your question, I believe yes. I mean, I, I think that the flexibility is, a valu is, is valuable. Um, then the most important issue, which was mentioned repeatedly today, is the need for adequate funding. Um, just like you to comment on, you know, higher funding levels for the program and, you know, what it would mean to Elizabeth uh, in redeveloping brownfield pro properties. Congressman, higher funding levels could allow for some reasonable administrative costs, which was testimony not only here but also by uh, Mr. Stanislaw. And also, uh, one of the testimonies uh, on this panel was addressing mothballed sites, which are clearly forgotten. Uh, I don't know New Bedford as well, but we have them in Elizabeth as well, where they're just totally forgotten and they sit there. Uh, additional funding would help us address mothball sites. And also, the clarifying of the eligibility of the publicly owned sites before 2002. Financing would help address that issue as well, Congressman. All right. Thanks a lot. 